Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. I've been on a bit of a losing streak today. Today? Recently? So we're gonna, we're gonna turn it around with some positivity. We're gonna have a great run. It's gonna be the best run that's ever been had. And that's all there is to it. Game can't stop me. No one can stop me. This is happening, and you're, you're gonna like it. So is The Binding of Isaac. As Samson, we have an increased chance to get Mom's Knife and Polyphemus. And that's... That's all we need to talk about, because we're being positive. So, it's going to go well. We're going to get carried real hard, and this is a nice key drop. Uh, as you could possibly tell by the fact that I said today, I am in another run for the session, which means that we have the chance for Angel Rooms right from the start. So if I waltz on into a Curse Room, there could just be Sacred Heart. And there's nothing the game can do to stop me, because it's happening. So we're gonna we're gonna expect that because I mean really it's pretty un it's pretty likely rather it's I mean it's almost a guarantee the rusted key to give us more keys and golden chests will be a grand old time and there's a bomb there's a tinted rock wasn't there hit that up we're gonna get small rock and then because we're gonna get two small rocks this floor because there's gonna be another tinted rock we're not gonna pick it up once we get the first one because we're gonna get another one by not picking it up. That's what's gonna happen. There's our tinted rock. That is uh, half the prophecy. Let's do it. Death, not a bad card. And uh, today the second video is gonna be Spelunky. And we're gonna go back to Terraria the next day, but can't just be a two game channel right now. I gotta, gotta play a little more. Oops. Well, that's not good. In fact, it's great. That soul heart was just getting in my way. Okay, you. Goodbye. We have plenty of bombs, which is an excellent situation to be in. And then we have Odd Mushroom. Hey, that's a really awesome position to be in, because that's a damage up as well as a health up. Having a little bit of extra health is also a speed down, which I think Samson has higher speed than Isaac. Base, so that's also pretty awesome. So I'm gonna grab this heart because every little bit counts. In fact, every lot bit counts because that was a lot. Secret room. Let's check here. Nope. All right, so then it should be here. And in it we find a slot machine that I'm not gonna blow up because I don't have that kind of bombage. And there's gonna be a tinted rock in the boss room anyway. So, you know. Famine, that's pretty alright. I can deal with that. With Samson, we should chill around here so that it spawns more enemies rather than charging, and thus builds up our damage rather than not building up our damage. So that's the strategy to, to employ as Samson and Samson only. Because that's the only time you should ever have Bloody Lust. And then, no worries, that was, that was good damage. It was the best damage. So was that. As it's the first floor, that doesn't matter as far as Devil Room's concerned, because I can't earn a Devil Room anyway. And a cube of meat's an excellent pickup, in fact, allowing us to block enemy tiers, damage enemies on contact, and stack with some other cubes of meat later when we hit those up. Curse Room? Yeah, let's do it. I didn't come into the floor with full health, but we did pick up the miter, so I guess that's totally alright. I can't go in there again, sadly, because I don't have enough health. But believe me, I'll be going back in there. It's happening and the game can't stop me. Because we have this extra 50% chance. Note I say extra because it's it's not an additive 50% chance. It's a consecutive chance where uh, we have an extra 50% chance for any non-specific soul hard drop, or non-specific hard drop to instead be a soul hard drop. And I say non-specific because many things in the game only drop a certain type of heart, and those aren't affected. Bloody Penny, Little Chad, Lover's Cards, Eternal Hearts in the Eternal Heart Top Secret Room. Those kinds of things are specific and cannot be changed. So it doesn't affect those, but it affects the other ones, which is pretty great. Now, I could have bombed into the shop, but I didn't really want to because I don't want to lose a 15 cent item because I couldn't get 15 cents and maybe it's a great item that I really wanted a lot. 
so that's the situation. But at the same time, I might use my two bombs in a little bit because I need to get a key, and there's totally a key for sale in there. And that key will get us to the item room, and that item room will contain Mom's knife. So when you think of it that way, it's pretty much a no-brainer. But this is going to pay for our 15 cent escapade anyway, so let's go there first. All I need is uh, anything, pretty much. We're gonna also gonna get like the box from the boss, so that's cool too. Remember, we've already been to the Angel Room, so when it opens up after the boss fight, uh, we've already been there. It's nothing. There's nothing in there. All right, let's uh, let's do it. This is gonna be a great pill. Speed up. That's pretty not great at all. But tears up is amazing. So, two of them is incredibly pleasing. And now we actually have a reasonable person rate of fire as Samson, and that means that this run is going pretty excellently. As Larry Jr. is going to be the boss fight? No. I was going to use the death card, and I was going to completely destroy Larry Jr. in one use, requiring no extra effort from myself. And then... Well, we're going to get an angel room after this, most likely, and that's, again, going to be nothing at all. But we're also going to get meat, or pentagram, or super bandage, so it's all good anyway. And, well, uh, so far, so good. We're going to get back to full health after it, most likely. Come on, you can do it, Monstro. There we go, we got the box. And we also got cancer to significantly increase our rate of fire. This is another death card? No, I picked up the other card. High Priestess, and that's another Tears Up. So I'll take death over High Priestess. Take my extra soul heart, head to my item room. See what we got. I'm also going to head back to the curse room because it's pretty worth it. And, well, uh, let's just see what this is first. Again, Cancer, multiplying our fire rate by around 1.5. It's not the literal effect, but it's good enough. And yes, I'm taking the quarter for once because that'll allow me to fund my trip to the curse room for only five cents. Depending on what's in there, of course. If I, well, no, I'll spend the money because... You can't... you don't take the quarter because you could get the D6. Same with the Steam Sale. You could get the D6 and it's easy to get those as rerolls. But Guppy's Tail is totally worth it. Note that even though that... like, that doesn't come from a pool. So, it doesn't... That doesn't mean that there was a Devil Room or anything. Red chests don't pull from a pool, they don't give you Devil Room items, they give you Guppy items, and you can re-roll them to whichever is on the floor if it's in a Curse Room. Because Curse Rooms share the pool with the Devil or Angel Room based on which is on the floor, not the Red Chests. That's a common misconception. But we have a really good rate of fire for being Samson. We have slightly increased damage. We have the Miter. It's a really good setup. This is going to bring us out of our losing streak. That was unexpected, I'd say, for sure. But that's all right. That's not enough to get us into the shop. We need a key for that. And, of course, this shop cannot contain greed, which is excellent. That's a heart, which is plenty good. I'd, lo I'd also love... Uh, no, I'd also love to find a challenge room for this death card to be useful in, especially if there's an item in it like growth hormones or some such, because that would allow us to do quite good things. There's our key to go to the item room, yes, not the shop. Shouldn't have picked up the quarter, but there's the D6. So now we are, uh, well, we can reroll things, and it's, it's quite a nice feeling. That's why you don't take the quarter, though. Uh, you all always get on my case for not taking Steam Sale or the Quarter. Because I'm like, hey, you might get the D6 later, and then it's easy to get those to reroll more. And then, you're like, come on, that's so unlikely. And I'm, I'm like, right now, my face. My face when? MFW. And it's just, it's a look of utter I told you so, because I told you so. So, anyway, we can still get Steam Sales, and I, of course, won't be taking those, especially with a D6. But we can reroll items, 
get better items. So we're gonna get the best of items. I'm gonna go to this curse room. I, I don't see why. I wouldn't in my sane mind. Because we have precedent for angel rooms and that's uh, that's motivation enough for me. All right. Now we're gonna go to the shop where we're gonna find the habit and then suddenly this run is made. It's so made. And then we're gonna also buy a key because we've got all this money that we got for taking that quarter. And it's gonna allow us to open up that chest where we're gonna get a damage up or something. Well, uh, so far, so that's still a key. Do I know this pill? Speed up. I thought, I wasn't sure if this was like this run or last run or something. Uh, so that was a waste of money, but that's cool. I'm gonna open up that chest and it's gonna give me a health up. That's what I really want. But if it's not a health up, I could still reroll it. That was worth it. That was completely worth it. So my health is still all right. We can work with this. We can definitely work with this. At the moment, I'm not getting any use of my D6 because I haven't found the boss slash angel room yet. Because, you know, there's going to be an angel room and I'm going to either get or reroll straight to Sacred Heart. There's pretty much no reasonable alternative in anyone's sane mind right now. Husk, that'll be real easy. Oop. You can't stop me, Husk. As long as I don't take red heart damage, the, the chance is alright. We could get Devil or Angel Room, and I'd be totally okay with that. And, or we could just get Meat, which I don't have any need to reroll because it's a health up and a damage up. It's all I want in my life, and I don't want to go to that. No Challenge Room made me a little bit, a little bit sad. There we go. Was this chest accessible? I didn't think so. So we're done here. D6 to make my life quite nice. Uh, well, I guess I could go reroll the item in there. I did want to see about the thing. Yeah, you know, the thing. That's a treasure map, I'll take it. Allows us to see the layout of the floor, the secret room, not the top secret room, and, uh, yeah. It's going to make it easier to tell where things are and how to maximize our D6 use, which I didn't do on this floor, you might have noticed. And that's okay. Because this floor went swimmingly. Quite. Alright, I'm going to drink some water. and go right to the secret room? No. Go to the secret room once we have a D6 charge because we could reroll and get raw liver. Which seems like a good option to me, I would have to say. Because the more health I have as Samson, the better. Because he starts with like none, so it's just more impressive. And more more telling of how how well positivity works. And this is our item room. I was planning that obviously, so I'm going to go in there first just to see uh, if I get Mom's knife straight away, or some something like that. We do have an increased drop rate of chests and golden chests, keep in mind, because of the Guppy's tail that we picked up, decreased drop rate of everything else. So that key in there, I'm definitely going to bomb to, actually, because it's pretty worth it. So we're going to do that. Oh, okay, I see. We're going to do that. I'm going to get that key, and then we're going to go to the secret room, and it's only going to take one reroll, which is why it was okay using that bomb. We're going to get everything we ever desired in here, or we're just going to get a ton of money so that the shop is incredibly viable. And this shop can contain greed with a 50% chance, and I would kind of like that, because then I couldn't get it on the next floor. Guaranteed. But even if it doesn't, that's okay. I don't want that, because that would make it so that the Bible's pretty likely to appear in the shop. So uh, we're going to avoid that, re-roll it later. Nope. I almost made a huge mistake, but I actually didn't. I made a huge success. Yes, indeed. And since we're pretty fast, it's going to be an easy time going back to the item room for re-rolls, which is nice. 
I'm not going to go to the curse room until I have a reroll because again, Sacred Heart is uh, it's going to be it's going to be a thing that happens. Extra Soul Heart. Let's fight the boss since we're in that position where it makes a ton of sense. Gertie is one of the best bosses, one of the only bosses where we can make excellent use of Bloody Lust. So I'm going to embrace that completely. Oops. That's okay. Oops. That's okay. Pretty much just every three seconds you can uh, do a dodge and you don't have to worry. Someone said don't do it based on a timer, but it's like the attack is based on the timer. So you can easily do that if you desire. Krampus is going to give us the lump of coal, which I'm absolutely going to take. It's going to increase the damage of our tears based on how long they've spent on screen. And that's going to be an awesome damage up. Guaranteed. 0.14 up because 0.14 for four per frame. Some people think that um, it doesn't, or it lowers your damage. It doesn't. It does not lower your damage. I 100% promise that the it, at the very least increases your damage by 0.14 because you can't have your tier not on screen for a frame in the, in the game's eyes. So it, it's a guaranteed damage up. It's worth having. And it's not worth re-rolling. But sadly... Let's think about this very carefully. I'm going to do it. Alright, that's Super Troll Bomb. Those are two pills. That's Tears Up. So that, that was definitely worth the health. Uh, what do we have in our item room? We have... Yeah, we have that. Pageant Boy? Probably not something I want. But we'll see what happens. Because it's totally possible that I get the D20 right here and then pick that up, seven rerolls right away. But did I tell you? I mean, that's exactly what I was planning for. I hope you understand. And then we're going to go to the shop and get a D20. And then there's going to be an arcade on this floor because we walked in with five cents. I think we did. And then the game's broken. But for now, this is, uh, this is good. Oh no, I lost one. But that was really worth it because that's another tears up and then this is temperance for a blood donation machine I'll come back for that death card because we may need this in order to uh, break the game when we get a blood bag right away from the other one in the arcade so yeah uh, I did tell you that this was happening you can't really doubt me sometimes I just kind of I'm in tune with the game's inner thoughts yeah so up here, yeah, that was easy. Curved horn, uh, two damage up, and that's really good. But cancer for a high rate of fire. I don't know, it's a tough call. It's a very tough call. And here's the thing. Until I know, I can't re-roll the d20. Which means we need to find the shop at, like, these two end rooms and have it either be awesome or not. So far, so good. If it's mom's purse, I'm just gonna take it because I can have Cancer Curved Horn, and then later I can have whichever one I prefer and the uh, Polaroid. Greed, all right, I will reroll you, your item that you're gonna drop for me. That's not an item. Uh, so I have no way of making good use of the 20 again. Here's the thing. Good. I was expecting a blood bag there, though. Health up. Yeah, that's pretty worth it. So now what that means is we have to reroll the d20. No, we don't. There could still be an arcade. Arcade can't save us. Can't save us at all. We can get another reroll for sure. So that's the thing. Goodbye, D20. You did me a solid by giving me these two soul hearts. But you have to go. It was nice knowing you, Monster Manuel. Uh, I, I regret making your acquaintance, but nonetheless, it'll be okay. Uh, if I have to, though, I'm going with Cancer over Curved Horn because having a flurry of tears is a ton of fun, and I like it. So I'm going to grab this health up. I'm going to fight this room. We're going to get another third of a D6 charge. Even if there's an arcade, that's okay. Uh, I didn't really have any use without the habit. 
so that's that's all good. Larry Jr. goes down incredibly quickly with my setup here. No problem at all. He says after having taken damage, but that's okay. And we're going to get one more reroll. There is an arcade, but I don't have good use for that. So we're not going to get another reroll. What do I want to do with this? I don't have a lucky foot or anything. I don't need to go there for any reason. Oh, what can I do? What can I do? Well, let's do this last room and just see what's in here. Probably a beggar. It's not a beggar. <laughs> Can't say I didn't try. All right. Another key is excellent. Uh, I mean, there are reasons to go to the arcade and there are reasons not to go to the arcade. I guess since we're doing so well, we should go. Because we're going to easily be able to pick up some good stuff like that health right away. We're going to play these guys for a little while. We're going to get Skatol right, right first try, by the way. That blew up. All right, I don't mind. Because we're going to get it this time. And that's, uh, that's all we need to do because I don't really want to lose any red hearts over these two blood donation machines. And I don't want to lose any bombs over blowing them up. But that floor went pretty well. I'm pleased with the way of things. We know that we can't be fighting greed on the next floor unless it's uh, an XL floor, and then we can be. Got our death card, and we're on our way. It's not an XL floor. We don't quite have a D6 charge, so we don't want to visit that uh, secret room yet. Skatol means that all flies will turn into either friendly flies or flies that do not, uh, that, that don't want to hurt us, unless they're boom flies or red boom flies, then they'll just move slower. And in this challenge room, I can do something with my death card to get whatever's in it for essentially free. Three cents, sure. Again, shop can't be greed because it's uh, not an XL floor. So we open this, spawn all three waves at once, and then use a death card. They all die, and it's a free thing. I'm absolutely going to take the skeleton key because remember we have Guppy's tail meaning we should be getting a bunch of chests, and that's awesome, because this can be more reroll fodder and just more stuff to deal with. So I'm I'm good with that. I'm really good with that. And then in this shop, I want to find Mom's purse. And this is the shop, in fact, so that's quite pleasing. And then you're going to taste it. 99 keys means I don't really care about using one to go in here where we find the candle, but that's an easy thing to reroll to the 9 volt. Yeah, that means the D6 is a two room charge. I can't really not do that. Why did I buy that? That was a waste. Hermit teleports us to the shop, so we'll use that on the next floor. And I may as well buy this heart. Buy out the whole shop. And we will go find the item room and then the boss, or the boss and then the item room, it doesn't really matter. Curse room it teleports us to the angel room that gives a sacred heart is going to happen. That's a pretty likely thing. I'm really hoping that the next shop isn't greed, because if it is, then we have the sad situation, unless it drops a steam sale, of not being able to get the purse so that we can carry two trinkets. And, of course, I want two trinkets so that I can keep this cancer trinket after having to pick up the Polaroid. All right. Come on. I mean, this this has to almost... Has to. Not quite has to, but almost has to. Be the one of the rooms we want. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. These flies harmless, like I said. Those flies move slower, like I said. Counterfeit penny. Why did I go in here? Well, it's okay, because it is a mini-boss, which means we're going to get an item to reroll. And I won't touch it because we could get it more later. Though we could get it in the item room, and that would be very displeasing, but we're not going to do that, because, you know, didn't happen. Another bomb, though, is nice. Counterfeit penny is a chance, 50%, every time we pick up a coin that is worth one more cent than it normally would be. So a dime's worth 11... Nickel's worth five, six, sorry. 
Penny's worth two. 50% chance. No, you can't do that. So this, we're gonna, ah yes, there's the chest we want. In it we find the chariot, which I don't really have a use for. Mr. Mega, good, bad. Pinking shears, no thanks. Use it while walking into a wall, by the way, in case you get kamikaze. Then you don't take damage from kamikaze. So, good strategy. We should get another reroll, though, because remember, it's only two rooms now, thanks to the 9 volt. Do you still have the miter, in case you'd forgotten? Um, okay, fine. I was going to say, I'm going to fight the boss anyway, because it's not like I'm getting another reroll, but you don't even have to say that. Because it's going to be our reroll. It's a bloat, but guess what? I don't fear you. Look how fast I melt through its health. The eyes are affected by Skatol's slowing effect, by the way, which is why you uh, why they're moving so slow, seemingly. Because they count as flies for whatever reason, or boom flies for whatever reason. And I believe that if they kill you, you actually do see a boom fly on your death screen. Which is kind of funny. Bloat died, super bandage, definitely taking that. I shouldn't have taken it until after walking in here and picking up Sacred Heart, but I did. So that's alright. And uh, I rerolled the relic because it's not one of my favorite items at all, and we could have gotten Sacred Heart. I expected to, it just didn't happen. It wasn't my fault, really. So I'll do this last room, see what's up in here. Oh yeah, Chubbers, they're some of my least favorite enemies, but guess what, I just kissed that one right in the face and didn't didn't even flinch. I was just like, hey, you know what? Guess what? You're not going to do it. You can't do it. You're too scared. And it was. Two more bombs. That was pretty worth it. Also, one more charge, so we'll use that right after... Uh, or we'll use the Hermit right after getting a full charge for our D6. We will then kill our buddy Greed in the shop, most likely, and reroll straight to the Habit or Mom's Purse. Either one is pleasing to me. Curse the Lost again, more rooms to deal with, which means more rerolls, provided we find something to reroll early enough. Which we will. Worry not. Alright, so now uh, every time we get hit twice, we get another reroll because every hit gives us three ticks of charge for our spacebar item. Though, do take into account that we have the 9 volt, meaning that oh I shouldn't have used that one but it's okay because the other fire is right there in the shop that I left um if we do one room it only takes one hit because we have two takes of charge sadly that doesn't uh, go with the habit in such a way that uh, that we can what can we not do I don't know get it in one hit all the time that's that's the one no now we're just going to find the scapular so we have infinite rerolls, but not yet. It's going to happen soon. Just uh, I wasn't talking about immediately. I was talking about shortly. The thing about uh, using the hermit card there that was maybe arguable is that I now can't teleport out of the mom room in order to uh, try and get an angel room again or a devil room. No, don't need that. Well, what else was in here? Oh, Red Heart. Alright, we might be using our rerolls or our, our, that fire. We might not. We're going to find a beggar somewhere along the line, and it's going to want to give us... Ah, see, we don't have to, because we have this arcade, which means we have a blood donation machine, which means that we can easily get rerolls without losing our soul hearts. And since we're kind of fast due to taking a speed-up pill, and being Samson, who I believe is faster than Isaac by default, it's not a big deal to go back and forth there. Sloth, maybe another item to reroll, and if it is, that's excellent, because I don't have to worry about things. Card, probably a teleport card, if I had to guess. Alright, I don't want to touch that. And it doesn't matter if I reroll here or there, because uh, they both pull from the same pool. So I don't want to touch that in case I fight Sloth in the chest and then can get more drops from it. But I'm going to keep clearing rooms until uh, there are no more rooms to clear. Before, ooh, ooh, okay, so library. That's going to turn into a double item room if we reroll it enough, which we totally will. Soul heart again, that's really good. Oops. 
Could bomb my way out of here to keep my rerolls as much as possible. Stay away. Alright. There you go. Uh, but I, I don't usually do that. Alright, Book of Shadows. Telepathy for dummies. That's all well and good. I am going to prioritize these rerolls because they are going to pay out doubly fast once they do. So that's quite, quite nice. Hmm. Okay, that's the boss. We don't have a teleport, so we don't want that. As much as we want to want that, we don't. So back to the long way. And I am still going to focus on the library, because again, it's going to be way better for us. Still, we're going to find a beggar that's going to give us Mom's Purse so we can keep Cancer. Even if we don't, though, we still have a really good rate of fire, which is good enough. I like it enough, anyway. I don't hate you, Isaac. Right now, you're an alright guy. You are an alright guy, and we are getting along. We're getting along quite well, in fact. Soon I'll be able to go to the secret room as well. And if that contains raw liver like I expect it to, then we'll be able to um, go really far down on health with the blood donation machine so we can get more rerolls, and then it's going to be awesome. Alright, Book of Revelations is cool to give us another soul heart. We don't have to worry about fighting a horseman because we can't right now. Necronomicon doesn't actually have to be in the pool, so it's a little unlucky, but it's all good. Just two more rooms, or a room with a hit. And then we're ready to reroll, and I think that we're out of books. Which means it's time to get two items. Which are going to be quite good. Uh, honestly, I don't want Mom's Knife anymore. And I don't necessarily want Polyphemus. Uh, this is here to be convenient as far as rerolls are concerned in that item room. <laughs> My throat was just like, hey, you know what? No. But we've got an Eternal Heart there, which turns into a health up. Should we get it to the next floor or find a second eternal heart? So that's quite nice. Uh, sadly, I took a hit there. I really didn't want to. Thanks for showing me. Uh, that's not raw liver, but... Uh, that is wasted potential because we didn't touch the other one, sadly. Maybe it would have been raw liver if we'd had touched the other one. But that's alright. We're going to see what we get here, and if it's Magic Mushroom, then that's pretty cool. Then we'll focus on rerolling another thing. Uh, really, it's uncanny how we just randomly got Mom's Knife there. But I like my setup as is. I don't need Mom's Knife anymore. So I'm going to start using the Blood Donation Machine, even though I don't have to. And we're going to see what happens. Mom's knife I would have taken at the start, but once you have the D6, this is what I said about Isaac recently, you can't really take tier effects because you can do so much better. You can do so, so much better. So we're going we're gonna to do much better. And it's okay we have another blood donation machine if we need to, but I'd rather not use that uh, for all the way over here. Not a ton of health laying around, but we can probably earn some from those gambling machines. The Skull Game will never go away because we can easily... Or because we already have Skatol, so it can't give us anything to go away, and it doesn't blow itself up or anything, unless it spawns a Troll Bomb, which we can push out of the way if we react quickly enough. So just nice things to consider. There's our Blood Bag. I don't want to take that yet. Because I want it for recovery in case uh, we go lower. So back to the grind of doing rooms further away. Still haven't gotten an item we want out of that library, but we're gonna. And we now have more opportunities to pick up nice things. So what do we have in here? Just the eternal heart. That's fine. And in here we have a full heart. So that's good. Curse room is a definite. Like, literally no doubt in my mind that we're going there. Full heart and chest. 
sound awesome to me. Curse room gives us soul heart, so it paid for itself. And then we'll go back to the library. It's a trek, but it's worth it. And in it, we're going to find what? What are we going to find? I don't know that I want Polyphemus, in all honesty, but I'd take tough love. That's for sure. Because, let's see, even without cancer, fire rate is pretty good. And I like having high fire rate, but the way you think about it, it's kind of, kind of bad because of Isaac and Blue Baby. But it's okay because it's not an option yet, and those are real bad. <laughs> so, I mean, Celtic Cross isn't bad. Was Celtic Cross in there? I don't even remember what the second item was. I was just like, holy water, nope. So, yeah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna continue. Now we're gonna find something good. Two golden poops. Yeah, that's nice. See how much I care. Black flies, harmless. Can't reroll the room with these black flies. See? The room is still filled in, so we've still fin finished it. You used to be able to do that without uh, turning them black, even. And then I was like, hey, you know what? Eternal flies, you don't work anymore. Because it was a silly exploit that a lot of, or at least some people were using. And they didn't want that. So eternal flies don't work, regardless of whether they're turned into black flies or not. Library, don't fail me now. You can do it. You can do something amazing. I believe in you. As long as it gives me one item, I can not backtrack as far for rerolls because that item room is closer. So, I would like that. I would like that a great deal. Yes, I want you. That makes it all worth it. Boom is in the pool twice, by the way, so that's why we'd already seen it and saw it again. Which means, well, hey, no more backtracking quite as far. Still, the only way to get Mom's purse is from the thing, most likely. The thing being a beggar, which we're going to find. Okay, as long as the blood donation machine allows us to go down far enough, we can easily go to this uh, boss challenge room, pick up a uh, pentagram. So that's the next goal. I can't get in there. So I can't get another reroll except by using this blood donation machine, which means blood donation machine's turn right now. Okay, the money, not yet important. We've already used the D20, though, so we know we can't get that again. And then, you know, what do we get? What do we get? Robo baby, how about not good enough? We have a blood donation machine, or we have a blood bag, so we can easily get back to full health because it's only four hearts of recovery and we don't have a... Uh, well, I guess we could be half a heart shy of full health, but yeah, we, we do want that, actually. No, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. So that's okay. Oh, what are you now? Rainbow Baby, much better familiar, but not one I want. This red heart does exist, so I will buy it. Three cents for another reroll sounds like a good trade to me. <clears throat> Although... I should have done it at the end, after I had gone to the boss challenge room. So watch me end one heart too high, because of my poor order decision. Maybe it won't matter, because this is going to be a really great item. Magic Mushroom Max's head. Either of them. Either of them is fine. Best Friend is not fine. But we'll get there. Or Tough Love. Tough Love is cool, too. I would happily accept that. Might want to go reroll in the secret room, too. So far, so good. In fact, we could get to the boss challenge room. I would want to reroll in there first, or give it the opportunity to be the first reroll. So we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So what do you have for me? I'm leaving the money mostly because I don't need to pick it up yet. I mean, I don't need it for anything. So we'll see what you are. And then if you're health up, we'll go reroll in the item room. 
Or if you're something I want. Okay, your health up. I want that. So item room reroll. And then back to business. Or, well, fight there. Then back to business. Alright. Teleport. Okay. Gonna leave that. Because it can't teleport us to the um, I Am Error Room. So we want to use that to get out of the mom fight and see if we can go to the uh, Angel or Devil Room after that. And yeah, we'll lose out on some chance for D6 rerollage. But what we gain is much greater potential. And we teleport out of the room, most likely. So we can't... We can still have a chance at a reroll. If we do get an angel room, which is not impossible. So it's going to happen. That's just how I, how I am on positivity runs. If it's not impossible and it's good, it's going to happen. Much like this D6. Getting those pre-flies was essential, by the way. Or the halo flies, to give us two flies. Orbitals, blocking tears, and damaging flies. Flies only. Are good. They're very good. So now we get the reroll at the perfect time rather than the imperfect time. And then we don't want to reroll that item. So what shall we reroll? It doesn't matter. Ten bombs I would like to take more than I'd like to take spider butt. So we'll reroll spider butt. Which gives us the hourglass. Okay. Another thing to reroll. No big deal. Uh Yeah, so I can go in at higher health, I'll take one my one more reroll, grab the blood bag. And then go with the teleport. Yeah, that's the best situation. So I don't accidentally die somehow. This has been a kind blood donation machine. With perfect timing, nonetheless. So that's health up, four hearts of recovery, and a speed up, which is unfortunate, but not the worst. I can deal. With my reroll built up, I will take this. And... I might use bombs, which is why I'm leaving the other blood bag for now. I have enough health to deal with this. So, let's go. Let's do this. Let's make this happen. There's fire. Fire's better than bombs. So we'd use fire. Nope, you hit me. Can't get behind that. Fortunately, we can just kind of melt through here, and we're also cheesing, so that's excellent. Leave me alone. You don't have any power over me. Health up. I didn't hear any sounds, but I don't know, so I will. We'll deal with it. Take the Polaroid. Teleport out here, that's okay. Take our D6, walk in, see if we get anything. If we don't, then fine. Back to the drawing board, back to rerolling things. Again, boom is the last thing we reroll, because it's the least worth rerolling thing that we've got. And then, well, I don't know. Scapular could happen, and then I'd be really happy. Nothing. Sure, I'm okay with that. With no blood donation machine, I want to just reroll in here as quickly as possible, so we'll deal with this first, because it's the first thing that's close to anything worth using. Lard... Yeah, I do want that because of the speed down. Two health up. That's real good. Then we'll use this fire. To continue rerolling over there. We still have the blood, uh, blood bag to give us that health recovery. And if, depending on what happens, we might get to reroll boom as well. Blood rights is a pretty bad item. So let's make sure not to see it again. Allows us to deal damage to enemies for damaging ourselves. Not worth using. Yeah, this is the best thing. And then there's an eternal heart to pick up, and don't worry, I won't forget. Okay, yes, I'm using soul hearts for this, but it's okay. It's worth it. Then how low can I go? 
I can go relatively low with this. Bomb bag, how about not... Non-bag. It's not good. It's not good. Alright. I can go for at least three more rerolls. And still feel comfortable with my life. So that's what we're gonna do. Make that an extra one. So, four more rerolls. Yeah. Grab the Eternal Heart, grab Boom, most likely. Depending on what we get. Of course, if it's something amazing, then we can get a lot more rerolls. Like, if it's Magic Mushroom, we can go quite a fair amount further with our lives. Remember, we don't have cancer anymore, so we can't fire quite as quickly. But the Polaroid will allow us to go into the end game, which means that's what we want to do. $3 bill is pretty bad. So I'm not going to take that. Random tier effect each room, sometimes the magnet. Magnet's not good to have. So we don't want that, like I said. That's two out of four. Because remember, I'm going to two hearts below that. And then magic mushroom. Boom. I don't want to touch that, like I said, because it could spawn again from another mini boss. And we do have the D6 and the habit, so it's a lot of reroll potential. We also have Guppy's tail, so we can get a lot of items to reroll in the chest because of getting more chest and golden chest drops, where all chests and golden chests contain items in the chest. So I like that. I like that possibility a lot. Now, what do we have from this penultimate reroll? Heart. Oh, oh, baby. All right, that's full health, so we can we can go ham. We can go real ham with rerolls right now. So boom, say goodbye. So health up, full health. Uh, we are gonna hit 12 hearts after this floor after taking both items, and we have a lot of rerolls on this boom. So we're gonna get something. Sacrificial dagger. I like it, but I can do better when I'm doing what I'm doing. I guess I'll take blood bag first. It really doesn't matter too much. Because either way, I can easily get full health. Perfectly, as well. So I'll, I'll do the blood bag first because it's closer. It's not actually closer. That's the thing. Infestation, how about no? And we want to go to a half heart, even though we won't quite get the reroll. Uh, I don't know if it actually matters, but that's okay. Oh, and then we have the eternal heart, so we'll get to um, 13 hearts, but note that off-screen red hearts don't count as fillable. They count as tradable, though. So that's something we can make use of. Won't be able to see our soul hearts, uh, which I don't like. I only like having 11 hearts in all honesty, but for the situation we're in, it's pretty worth it to go all the way. Scapular would be nice. Because then I'd reroll the blood bag. For sure. Ouija board? Have a no. Like I said, I'm going to take the half heart of damage, although it doesn't matter right now. Then I'll go back, grab the blood bag, start this over. Yes, no, no scapular, so I don't have infinite rerolls with this. Nice as that would be. Blood bag ahoy. And back to damaging. I could play the slot machine in order to get more rerolls as well. Or in order to get like another temperance card, for example. Which would help out, because then that would make I would be able to put something really close by instead. Alright, I hope I get enough rerolls, or I hope I get a good item in these four rerolls coming up. Shears? No. But we've got four more and a half. Four or five. So we've got five because I want to take a half heart of damage after picking up the heart so that I can get Polaroid invincibility. Wait, but then I can't take the Eternal Heart because that would ruin Polaroid invincibility. So I take another reroll after that. Then I can take the Eternal Heart. 
still get Polaroid Invincibility, still have health off the screen to trade. There we go. I've solved the riddle of the Sphinx at the moment. We good? I think we good. So now it's just time for a good item to show up. I mean, I guess there's plenty of time, technically. If we get something in here early, we can always go to the secret room. Try and get... Jeez, raw liver would not actually help us very much. You heard that. It, the game was just like... The item pickup sound was perfect there. So now we have unlimited rerolls. All we have to do is get down to half a red heart, and then... I should have left fire in the secret room. That would have been really nice and convenient of me. But that's okay. I'll use my 16 bombs if I have to. Raw liver, not that appealing. Uh, what would be really appealing is perhaps... Not the one up at all. Perhaps... Spider bite would be really good. Transcendence would be really good. So one of those. But once we're down to half of a red heart, we get a soul heart. And then the aura disappears, so we can only activate it once per room. But that's okay, we just leave the room, re-enter, and we're good. Pyro would be alright, but that doesn't even have to be in the pool right now. Uh, Transcendence, I think, is what I want most. So I guess I'll go for that. I've got 14 chances because I have 14 bombs. Yeah, Transcendence is what I want. So I will take that. Oh yeah, Polaroid Invincibility. That makes my life really inconvenient at the moment. That's okay, though. It's faster to leave the room and re-enter in order, in this case, that is. So we'll do that. There aren't 14 items left, so I w expect to be alright. Alright, unlimited rerolls is Samson, so we could break the game right now. Sadly, we didn't get the D20 on this floor instead of Caves 2, so we can't break the game, whereas we could have very easily on this floor with an arcade and all of the stuff that I've got set up right now. So this could have been breaking number 9 as Samson, which would have been hilarious. Alas, it was not to be. And that's alright. Maybe it still could be breaking number 9. I don't know. Transcendence. Alright, I'm happy with my life now. And it doesn't matter if I get another um, half heart. Or another like half soul heart. Because all damage in the womb and beyond is going to be a full heart. And I'm not setting up for Polaroid invincibility. That's also alright. So let's get back to full health with heart. 12 hearts, we'll have 13 hearts, and we're good to go. Flight means I don't mind speed so much, so we'll see what we get in the chest, basically, um, and if we get any other items throughout the game. Now I'm going to drink some water and be right back. Curse room, how about yes? You don't have to pay to get in, just to get out when you have flight, so that's excellent. I wouldn't want raw liver right now, so if we walk into the secret room and just find it, I would reroll it to try and get spider bite. Raw liver is really not very helpful. I already have 13 health, it's more than I need, because it's more than is useful. But I do want a half red heart so that I can get Polaroid invincibility if I lose all of this health. I'll take a full heart. See what you are. If you're greed, I'm farming you. You're not greed. Not leaving the fire, because having to use bombs to get to it isn't even that is not convenient or worth it really. Cause I may as well just use the bombs themselves in that case, because it's the same damage. So keep that in mind. Nothing does more than a full heart of damage, except the razor or the blood rites but everything does a full heart of damage, so you don't need to waste any resources for certain things. I'm doing extra rooms here in case I find an item a beggar or something might give me. Just full clearing, because I have unlimited rerolls if I get a half heart somewhere along the line. 
so that's pretty worth it seeming to me. Evil twin. Shouldn't have taken the soul heart, but it's not actually a huge deal whatsoever. Lump of coal is awesome to use effectively. Because you did see it made a nice difference against those hosts that I had to kill. Full orbital means I'm going to take almost as little damage from tears as possible. The only thing that would make me even more protected would be Guardian Angel. Causing them all to move faster. Die already, thank you. Another soul heart. And another full red heart that I don't have use of yet. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Going into infinite rerolls on this floor would not actually be necessarily a good thing. Because I would be very health disadvantaged. Depending on what I set up, though. Because if I find something that gives me full health, then it doesn't matter. I may as well do it. Library? That's a double item room already. We got rid of all of those items. Uh, all of the books. So this is something to be rerolling, and I'm very happy. So thank you, The Binding of Isaac, for cooperating quite nicely. Do I know this pill? No. Range up. Sure. Money equals power. How about yes, please? 0 0.04 damage for every cent. It doesn't max out like a lot of people think. Except when your money maxes out. And it goes through the damage formula, so it's actually a little more than 0.04 for each cent, which is awesome. It's a really great item that I'm very pleased to have received. Oh, two of hearts. Hey, that's really nice. That's a lot of rerolls that I can get. Instead of not getting. Uh, what was my other card? I already forgot. Pills? Okay. Uh, we know that there's a tears up pill. So I like it. That's really all I wanted from it, too. So what was this? Was this death? It was strength. Ah, that's another bit of recovery that we can use to help maximize with two of hearts. So I will make sure to keep that in mind and then continue doing rooms. I don't know this pill either. Pretty fly. That doesn't help us at all, actually, because we already have a full orbital. And we can't get another meat boy. Like, we can't get to third level. Meat Boy. Anyway, not that I would if I could, because it's much worse than level 2. I would rather not have it, especially on a breaking run. It ruins breaking in a number of situations. So we're going to not do that, and that's going to be great. Every cent counts right now. I want to collect them all. Money equals power. Good times. And portable slot. Interesting proposition, but I don't think I have a use for it, since... Why would I? What, what use do I have of a portable slot? I don't need to farm a boss. And I don't uh, want to spend my money. So it's pretty useless. Pretty bad, in fact. But I won't touch it in case I have a use for it later. Because these things happen. Hmm... Give me magic mushroom, please. Chocolate milk. No. Not on a high fire rate run. I'll take it if I have a giant tears run. But not on a high fire rate run. Because that makes it really annoying to use. It's an objectively good item. But it's not, not what I want. Because it lowers the delay so, of your fire rate. So you fire more quickly. And it doesn't lower your damage at all. So there's no reason not to take it, except the fact that it's annoying to keep tapping to shoot at high fire rate. And like, it's a 20% tears up. It's significant. It is so good. But no one likes it at all. So I won't take it. Because I'm, I'm one of those people. I don't like it at all. Except I do want it on a run where I have, like, giant teeth. Oh, wow, we're already about to hit an hour. Distant Admiration. I'm gonna do it. This one does a lot more damage than the other Attack Fly Forever Alone. This one does, like, five or five and a half. So this is, like, really significant. We might get a blue baby kill with it, depending on uh, the setup we end up with later in the run. But like five or five and a half damage every hit 
and it has like no delay in its hits, so it's significant. It's hugely damaging. But I don't know if I'll make use of it or not. Oh, I didn't. Jeez, I don't fight Blast Assist enough. But it's okay, because this means I get a reroll, regardless. Uh, I just didn't know that it jumped straight up. I expected it to jump elsewhere. Like, at me. No Devil Room. Eat it. I'll take a range up. Was that a half heart in there? That was a full heart. But I'll still take it, because it's good to have. Strength is Magic Mushroom for a room, but I want the two of hearts in case I want to be rerolling things. We might get a library on the next floor. We might get a library on the floor after that. It's all worth it. So that's the plan. That's the goal. That's what's happening. Let's do it. Next floor. Uh, could be an arcade. Probably will be an arcade. So I'm going to make use of that because I want more money for money equals power and I want... I don't know what I want. More water. Yeah, that was what I wanted the most, I think. Good thing I got it, right? I love when I remember water. Water is like my favorite thing in the world, too. So it's just, it's even better. Soul heart, why not? Double Gertie Jr. Guess what? I have shot speed. Can't do much about that. Can you, Gertie Jr.? It's the one and only time that shot speed's worth having. And I've got it, so fear me. Ah, I still let myself get hit. That was so silly of me. Secret room, what do you have? Not greed, but I do like the money. Because that's more damage. And more damage is more happiness. The more happiness, the better. Look how fast that melted through. And it doesn't matter if I'm not doing end rooms or if I am doing end rooms or anything because any room could contain an item and until I have an item and until I have something like super weird happening, it doesn't. There's no reason for me to skip them. I'm really excited for the chest though with all the items that we can get. And as long as we can set up infinite rerolls in there and then have something to get us back to full health or the wafer or something, I'm very pleased. Uh, Oops. Oh well. I was expecting an item, really. Truly, honestly. I also re I'd really like a beggar. A beggar would be a nice individual to have. Alright. Or just anything that gave me an item. Not that, though. Not that. Not worth my health would be a good place for re-rolling though, because then I would get the chest out of it. Alright. That's speed up. I don't think speed up does anything for me anymore, but I'm still not going to take it. On principle. Well, maybe up there. Again, arcade is a likelihood. There's a library. I'm very pleased. I know that pill, I think. Might be tell pills though. No, I don't know that pill. Okay, I guess that was some other run. Bad gas. Sure. Guardian Angel. Easy pickup. Everything goes faster around me now. Bean. Want to touch that so I don't get it again. And now we do have maximum protection from tears. So I'm pleased. I like that. Again, depending on how we have to reroll in there, we might make use of that sacrifice room. Because we could get another reward out of it, basically. So why not use it if if it happens to be the convenient thing to use? But then again, this could just be Magic Mushroom Max's head right now. Or it could be the poop. Could be the poop. Plenty of rooms left. Plenty of hits left as well. There's also the whole chest ahead of me, so I might really not want to set anything up crazy right now. Tammy's head, always when I don't want it. Literally always. 
But it's faster to come back to reroll there. So I guess I'll reroll there. Oop. I took another hit. That's fine. Losing rerolls, but it's not a big deal. I, sh I might be able to bomb out of this room, even though it's a mini boss room, because it's not an official mini boss room. I can't say I'm certain. Goat Hoof is a speed up. What are you? Remote detonator gives me five bombs. Also allows me to detonate my bombs whenever I want, but I don't. I, the D6. I want the D6. Two pills, speed up, and bad gas. Keep my two of hearts. And Mama Guts room. Easy enough. One more reroll. And then... I'm not going to do anything extra on this floor. I'll save it for the chest. And maybe we get a library on the next floor so I can do stuff there, too. It's just not worth it yet, necessarily. I don't want any familiars. I don't like familiars that much. Ghost Baby's not one of the good ones anyway, so I'm okay skipping that. It's funny how powerful this run isn't for the setup we have. But the items that I've been taking are just not those particular items. Every cent counts. Melting through the heart's health. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Set up. We've got plenty of speed. Larry Jr. now? Never mind. Don't need Larry Jr. because we already are into the repeated bomb state. Not taking damage means that I don't get another reroll, and that's okay. Devil Room, we're gonna blow up the rock behind the statue, and just in case it's finally the Tinted Rock. Finally the Tinted Rock. There's nothing special about it, it's just, it would be funny. To me. Alright. End Rooms Ahoy. I wanna find all of the End Rooms and hope for a library. Good chain reaction. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I want to take that to the chest. Why did I go that way? Now I have to do an extra room. I don't have to do the full room. Six cents. More money, the better. Now I'll do this room. Then again, I don't have to. I'm just on any old hunt for item, for items and end rooms and stuff. Not prioritizing. Super hard. Because again, the chest is ahead of me, and there's plenty of possibility there. Daddy Longlegs is going to get melted. Oh, you troll. Oh, stop it. Soul Heart. Miter's doing its thing. That is for sure. Right. I'm not going to kill Isaac with the attack fly. But sometimes the attack fly is pretty good. I'm taking silly damage here. This is the boss? What? I'm not fighting the boss right away. That's not a good thing to do. Oh, you're still alive. I didn't realize. Thought you knew when to quit. This Wheel of Fortune card is definitely more valuable than the... Two of hearts, though, because this is just we can blow it up in the chest and be guaranteed an item. Which would be nice, because that's five rerolls at once instead of four. Because we'll use it in the first room, of course. So, I like that. I like that more than what we had. Even if what we had might be better for reroll, or better for getting more rerolls and not dying. Uh, what do I care? I'm, I'm here to just get more rerolls of more items. Oh, that was silly damage. It's gonna be okay, though. It is gonna be okay. Still no library. I'm sure that that top room is gonna be a library, and I'm gonna regret not going that way. But if it is, that's okay. I've left the end rooms, even though I don't need to. May as well just fight them for chances at items. Life life works in mysterious ways or I work in mysterious ways 
Soul heart for this fight because there's a blue boss. And library. Well, I guess I feel good because I didn't go the other way. And what does this library have for me? I'll take the contacts. And I'll take the halo. Now I'll just go fight the boss. There are more items to be had, but I'm going to focus on the chest now. And now we have a freezing effect on our tears, which means that every so often we hit, the enemy will just not be able to do anything, and that's great against Isaac, of course. Especially with a high fire rate like we have, that's a real big deal. See? Look at this. Look how convenient this is. And we can maximize our use of Lump of Coal by standing as far away as possible. Or floating as far away as possible, I guess, is what we're doing. And just hope not to get hit, basically. What you got for me? Oh no, I got hit. Single time. If we keep him frozen mostly through phase three, then we won't have to fight angelic babies, which would be nice. At the same time, angelic babies would get us more rage, which could help us out, but I don't think it's necessary. Isaac is now defeated. Let's do this. See what we get from these? Charm of the Vampire. Forever Alone. Mom's Pad. And Doctor's Remote. Then we spawn our Wheel of Fortune. Blow it up. Relic. How about five rerolls? Forget me now. I want to move that as soon as possible. See what's in here? Is it greed? No, but it's another item for us. Oh, I just lost .04 damage. Got a one-up. I don't want a one-up. So I need a spacebar item as soon as possible, because I can't reroll until I get one, because I want to keep the forget-me-now so I can fight the whole chest again. Which is obviously the silliest and best idea that I love. I love doing that. So please chest with freaking spacebar item. So close. So close. So we're losing out on rerolling five items at once for the moment. Because I can't reroll the forget me now. I need it. I need it to live. I need it for my happiness. And amazing how bad my setup still is. There we go. Strength is good too, because it's magic mushroom for a room. Uh, but I'm like incredibly weak for where I am. And that's real bad. But we've got five rerolls right now, so we can hopefully pick up something amazing right now. Yeah, yeah, I'll take these two. Now we can fire backwards sometimes, and our tears travel through enemies, no more knockback. Makes having shot speed not such a bad thing after all. I mean, it's still bad, but it's not as bad as it was. And with a high fire rate, we're firing behind us often enough, this is actually a viable strategy for attack. Red chests don't have to contain items. Alright, Pestilence sounds like a good first order of business. Usually is. And this allows Lump of Coal to be at its most effective to fire through multiple enemies. Which is awesome. Cupid's Arrow, that is. And we do have cross-room range, so we can make it as effective as possible. Oh! Well, I didn't expect you to stop. Forgot about the contacts. Strength can be used for a heart of recovery, though. Chemical peel for two damage up from one eye. I'll take all the damage I can get. I could easily die. That's the funniest thing. For my setup, I could easily die. Hopefully I don't. But you never know. You've been frozen a while. <laughs> Welcome to the present, I guess. Stop firing bombs and let me just stun lock you. Did you know what I just said? You weren't listening. And you killed yourself. At least it didn't damage me. So full chest, full clear twice. It's happening. Unless I die. Which could happen. Infinite rerolls are a thing that we do have, so I could get all the items in the world with this particular combination of items. 
But I need a good one already. Mutant spider? Nah. That'd be not good. Something else that you don't take as Isaac or with the D6. Because of its bad qualities, which are lowering the damage of Polyphemus. Per tier. And just generally not being awesome. Lowering your fire rate significantly. I'm sure it's still a DPS up. But we can do much better. That's really all there is to it. X-ray vision, I like. Even though, well, next floor might matter. No, it won't. It literally can't matter to us. But it's an on-principle thing as well. I take it on-principle because it's good. It's one of those items that's just part of a good breaking run. Nope. Oh, wow. There goes the soul heart that I picked up. Tick? Don't want the tick. I mean, it's a good trinket, but... Polaroid might come in handy. Tough love? Always. Now he can fire teeth. One-tenth chance, affected by luck. The only tier effect in the game that is affected by luck. The only one. And I mean the only one. The only one. This is something people question non-stop, and I don't know if I can make it any more clear, but I, I've done my best. Oh my god. Greed, stop. I can't get heart from this, because I've already picked it up. There's my half heart. Uh, it doesn't matter what I'm re-rolling now, since I've taken one item. Yeah, I've taken this. Yes. And the virus might be a good thing to take. Parasite, sure. Now our tears split when they hit things, but guess what? They only hit walls. Still, it's nice how it synergizes with Lump of Coal, because they start... Like, you you hit something, and however big your tears were when they hit that something is how big they'll start from the split. Which means that you don't lose any damage out of that. You only gain it. You can double the effectiveness of Lump of Coal if you are crazy. Somehow, Eternal Heart I don't want, because that would ruin our Polar Invincibility business and our Half Heart business. So that'd be kind of bad. Okay, keep you locked if possible. I didn't really. Now we have. Teeth, growing teeth. I would take Polyphemus, which amazingly hasn't appeared until... Well, hasn't appeared thus far. Stars is a random teleport, don't want that. Only thing we have to reroll is the virus right now, and the one up, but I don't really want anything from the secret room. Raw liver, maybe for full health. Loki's horns, always firing all four directions. Or not, apparently. Um, what? What? That's not right. That's not right at all. Alright, whatever. At least it's significantly increased, I'm willing to bet. Don't really care whom I'm killing last, I didn't take damage from that, amazingly. Uh, okay. Come on, you can do this. You're dead. I don't have Mr. Mega, so he can still drop it. Oh, I thought it was still frozen and moving, I was like, what? So that's another item to re-roll. Famine. Easy fight. No knockback, by the way, that's quite nice as well. Yeah. I do have quite a lot of tears coming out, but it's weird that they're not constant. When I get Polyphemus, they will be. So that's at least something we can count on. Reroll the wafer. There we go. Now my survivability is pretty much insured. And that's good. Oh, I like this because of the parasite. We can actually have this set up so nicely. Alright, Wafer means that we won't take full hearts of damage, we'll only be taking half hearts, so we have twice as much health as we would have, basically. Sounds good to me. We did get a chest. It was a red chest. It gave us some flies. This is the only thing for me to reroll. So there's raw liver. We'll see what happens. I might want to use infinite rerolls at some point, which means that I can't necessarily take that yet, but then I can when it gives me full health. Sister Maggie, something to reroll. I don't have a room that's guaranteed to damage me. That's the thing. So I don't have 
easy unlimited rerolls, which is a serious issue. So I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. Technology 2 is an easy reroll. Wiggle Worm's fun. I'm taking Wiggle Worm. Alright then. Raw liver, you are a troll. Trolly individual. The eternal heart's worth taking now because it's technically a small bit of extra health. But let's see what we get in this room. Please! No, you're not the room I wanted you to be. And I want to get hit once, so hit me. Ah, oh, look at all these tears. How fun. <laughs> Wiggle worm, you're trolling me. So we get one more reroll. We get all this health. We see what is up in the fight with Blue Baby, I guess. But I want more. I only have 19 bombs. That's a thing. Raw liver is full health, though, to go with the two health up. Whatever, I'm bombing myself. SMB super fan, all stats up. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh... There's nothing else to reroll, no way to get anything else to reroll. Take this now, we're at like 15 health or something silly like that. And then I'll just take it forget me now to do right after we kill Blue Baby. 85 keys is plenty. Don't want the tick. We've got this strength card, I'll use that on the second Blue Baby fight. Again, 1.5 times damage multiplier is quite nice to have. Alright, have fun. Dying, that is. I like the lag from the way things are going. Oh no, taking hits. Okay. That D20 showing up so early was really disappointing. I did call it though, so the game was just like, hey, you know what? Just, just take that. You asked, so here's screwing yourself over. Could have had so much more had I gotten it on the depths too. I would have had a breaking run. Had I gotten it on the chest, I could have done some real silly things. Alright, forget me now. Didn't take the Eternal Heart, but that's okay. Inner Eye, Triple Shot, how about no... None of these. Literally none of these. Appealed to me. Not Greed? Doesn't matter. Alright, so we're just gonna do all the rooms. See what happens. Still have Guppy's tail, so we've got plenty of potential for great things to happen. Oh, stop it, you. Plenty of rooms. Plenty of chances. Can easily make something happen. And these are just normal people teeth. Not giant people teeth, for example, or crazy wild people teeth. Nothing like that. There's normal ones. That was silly damage. Uh, so this time, yeah, I'll take common cold at least, poison damage. Uh, distant admiration kill. It's totally happening, maybe. Instead of um, using strength. We'll see what my setup is. Actually, you know what? No. No matter my setup, I'll totally do it unless I'm almost dead. Then I won't do it. <laughs> if that wasn't the obvious inference to make. Calm down, Pestilence. Oh, the lag. The game isn't happy with what I'm trying to do. Which is just shoot. It's not happy with me trying to shoot. Pestilence just kind of died. Stigmata. Health up, damage up. Oh, yeah, there's the infinite reroll room that we needed when we don't need it anymore because we can't possibly make use of it anymore. But it's alright, I didn't have the items to reroll. I got something I wanted from every single item. So what more can I ask for, really? My reflection, yes please. Makes this a ton of fun. Look how big I get my tears just from um, Lump of Coal coming back at me. Like, I don't have a ton of range, though, so it's not quite as nice, but it's pretty awesome. And we can hit the same enemy with this one tier multiple times. Which is pretty awesome as well. Alright. 
you don't have much chance war I'm sorry to let you know about that don't have homing tears yet but we're getting like all the items at once so we must be near the end which means I could crash the game on a Samson run where I got into the rerolls nonetheless but uh, Samson run crazy still don't think of this as breaking I think this is really lucky it's a positivity run at heart Little Steve, how about not little Steve? That sounds like a good option. Alright. Gertie's gonna die relatively easily. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love it. I will take a bomb. Blow this up, see if I get a good item. Yep, I'm doing it. A lot of people don't like it, but it's been a while. Oh, look how little that wave is. I haven't had technology in a while, and it's it's fun. It's pleasing. It's nice. I like it a great deal. I'm still yet to find Polyphemus. I want to emphasize that. It's amazing. I didn't even... I don't even understand at this point. I found all these special items. Like, all of the special items. I don't have Polyphemus, Max's Head, or Magic Mushroom. Though Max's Head and Magic Mushroom are special items. There we go. 1.5 times damage multiplier. That, now we're talking. How did I get all of this before Polyphemus? I started with the special item. You need to consider that and then really be baffled because that's the only emotion that makes sense to feel at the moment is bewilderment. Utter bewilderment. Oh well. <laughs> what can you do? Nothing at all. Polyphemus will be a ton of fun if we do get it, though. And I'm hoping. I'm hoping a lot. No, nope, you can't stop me, Chubb. You're both gonna die. Chest is... Ipecac. Alright. It's just a damage up for us. See? No Ipecac shots actually happening. Which is alright. It's just a nice, juicy damage up for our laser. Polyphemus after... How? Ipecac. Magic Mushroom. My Reflection, etc. So rare. Growth Hormones. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just... <laughs> it didn't hit me until like two seconds ago, and it makes no sense. Not even one. The game's not going to give it to me. And I just... I don't understand. I don't understand. I do like how we don't have red tears anymore. Which is cool, it makes them look nicer, I think. Aces spades. How? How? If this room doesn't give it to me, we actually made it through that full run with like a million special items and no polyphemus, which isn't a special item and should have appeared well before any of these items. Tough love? One of the rarest items in the game. Yep. Alright, fine. So this is our setup. We're gonna do this with the the attack fly. If I can get this into position. I've never done one of these kills before, so uh, you know, worth doing. Look how fast it melts through the health. I just want you to consider that. That's why it's quite a powerful fly. Five or so damage per hit. Tons of hits per second. Yeah, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm starting to take actual damage. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? Alright, kill Blue Baby with the attack fly. Distant admiration, best admiration. No Polyphemus. We got all of this. Amazing. It's also a Samson run, and we got like 16 health probably. Maybe more. Yeah, I don't know. I liked it, and I did say let's end our losing streak with a gloriously positive Samson run, right? I said something like that, and uh, well, that's exactly what happened. No crash, which is also a little bit disappointing, but I can't do anything about that. I tried my hardest to make crazy things happen, and they sort of did happen. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that episode. <laughs> that's 
That was pretty cool. I liked it. And I hope you did too. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.